Russia soars to new heights in the global aviation arena, unveiling cutting-edge next-generation fighter jets that redefine the boundaries of aerial supremacy. With a rich history of investing in fifth-generation fighters, the nation now sets its sights on the future, pushing the envelope in the quest for unparalleled combat capabilities. As international competitors watch closely, Russia's dedication to innovation propels it to the forefront of the aviation industry, where advanced technology meets fierce competition in the skies. What groundbreaking technologies and features do Russia's next-generation fighter jets bring to the global aviation stage? How will they impact modern aerial warfare? Join us as Russia builds the seventh-generation jet fighter that the world is afraid of. Russia's aviation industry has achieved remarkable milestones with its fifth-generation jets, most notably the Su-57. These advanced aircraft have solidified their place in Russia's military arsenal and have stood the test of time, proving their prowess in various operational contexts. The Su-57 fighter jet is a multi-role aircraft that emphasizes stealth and incorporates advanced technology to achieve high levels of automation. The Su-57's unique design includes a blended wing body fuselage with two widely spaced engines, all moving horizontal and vertical stabilizers, canted vertical stabilizers for enhanced stealth, and trapezoid wings with leading edge flaps, ailerons, and flaperons for agility. The aircraft also has thrust vectoring and large leading edge root extensions that shift the aerodynamic center forward, increasing static instability and enhancing maneuverability. The Su-57 combines materials, including aluminum and titanium alloys and composites to reduce its radar signature. As a multi-role aircraft, the Su-57 has substantial internal payload capacity, allowing it to carry various air-to-surface ordnance. The aircraft's internal weapons carriage reduces drag from external stores, enhancing its performance while maintaining stealth. The Su-57 boasts high static instability in pitch and yaw, an advanced KSU-50 flight control system, and canted thrust vectoring nozzles, making it departure resistant and highly maneuverable in all axes. The aircraft can execute very high angles of attack maneuvers, including the Pugachev's Cobra and the Bell maneuver. Additionally, the aerodynamics and engines enable it to reach speeds of Mach 2 and fly supersonically without afterburners, known as supercruise extending the effective range of missiles and bombs compared to previous aircraft. The Su-57 employs various methods to reduce its radar signature, including aligning planform edges to minimize radar cross-section, carefully angling leading and trailing edges of wings and control surfaces, serrated edges on skin panels and recessed antennas. The aircraft's canopy is coated with radar-absorbent metal oxide layers, reducing radar returns and protecting against ultraviolet and thermal radiation. Powered by a pair of NPO Liolka Saturn Isdelie 117 augmented turbofans, which produce 9 tons of dry thrust, 14.5 tons of thrust in afterburner, and 15 tons in special emergency power. These engines incorporate full authority digital engine control and are integrated into the flight control system to enhance maneuverability. The Su-57 features two main internal weapons bays for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat and two smaller side weapon bays for short-range missiles. It carries four beyond-visual-range missiles in the main bays, including the R-77M with ESA Seeker and the R-74M-2 short-range missile with reduced cross-section for internal carriage. The aircraft can also carry precision-guided bombs, air-to-ground, anti-ship, anti-radiation, and cruise missiles. The Su-57's glass cockpit has advanced avionics systems, including the SH-121 system with active electronically scanned array radar and the 101KS Atoll electro-optical system, which includes an infrared search and track turret, directional infrared countermeasures, ultraviolet missile approach warning sensors, thermal imager, and navigation and targeting pod. The aircraft uses the NPP Zvezda K36D5 ejection seat and the Soji E50 life support system, enabling the pilot to perform 9G maneuvers for up to 30 seconds. The aircraft also has a multifunctional video processing system called Okotnik to enhance target detection and tracking. Despite Russia's significant investment in developing the Su-57 fighter aircraft, 
Other competing countries have also invested greatly in their aviation sector. For instance, the United States has developed advanced fifth-generation fighters such as the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II, while China has developed the J-20. Furthermore, European countries such as France, Germany and the United Kingdom have collaborated on developing the Eurofighter Typhoon, a highly advanced fighter aircraft with exceptional maneuverability and stealth capabilities. The F-22's design is exceptional, incorporating stealth and aerodynamic performance synergy. This is achieved through precise plan form, panel edge alignment, and continuous surface curvature. These design principles work together to reduce the aircraft's radar cross-section, making it difficult for enemy radar to detect. Its delta wings, leading edge root extensions, four empennage surfaces, and angular fuselage enhance its aerodynamic profile. Its flight control surfaces, including leading edge flaps, flaperons, ailerons, rudders, and all moving horizontal tails, also serve multiple functions, including speed brake deployment. The F-22 carries its weapons internally within the fuselage to maintain its stealth characteristics. It also features a refueling boom receptacle at its centerline spine, retractable tricycle landing gear, and an emergency tail hook. Furthermore, it incorporates fire suppression and fuel tank inerting systems to enhance survivability. The F-22 is powered by dual Pratt and AM, Whitney augmented turbofan engines, notable for their closely spaced configuration and pitch axis thrust vectoring nozzles with a range of a 20 degrees, fully integrated into the F-22's flight controls and vehicle management system. Each engine can produce maximum thrust in the 35,000 LBF class, with a thrust-to-weight ratio almost at unity at typical combat weight in maximum military power, increasing to 1.25 in full afterburner. The F-22 can achieve a maximum speed of approximately Mach 1.8 without external stores when operating at military power and greater than Mach 2 when using afterburners. With a fuel capacity of 18,000 pounds internally and an additional 8,000 pounds in two 600-gallon external tanks, the F-22 boasts a ferry range of over 1,600 nautical miles. The F-22's high cruise speed and operational altitude significantly improved the effectiveness of its sensors and weapon systems while increasing its survivability against ground-based threats, such as surface-to-air missiles. One of its unique capabilities is supercruise, allowing it to sustain supersonic flight without relying on afterburners, thereby enabling interception of targets that would be out of reach for afterburner-dependent aircraft due to fuel constraints. The F-22 is renowned for its excellent maneuverability and energy potential across its flight envelope, owing to its aerodynamics, relaxed stability, and powerful thrust vectoring engines. Its large control surfaces, vortex generating chines, leading edge root extensions, and vectoring nozzles collectively provide exceptional high alpha characteristics. This allows the F-22 to maintain a trimmed alpha of over 60 degrees while retaining roll control. It can execute advanced maneuvers such as the Herbst Maneuver and Pugachev's Cobra. Its triplex redundant fly-by-wire control system and full authority digital engine control offer high departure resistance, ensuring carefree handling for the pilot. Regarding its stealth capabilities, the F-22 adopts a multifaceted approach. Weapons are stored internally to reduce radar cross-section. The airframe's design incorporates characteristics like precise alignment of edges and continuous curvature of surfaces. The aircraft features fixed geometry serpentine inlets and curved vanes that prevent the engine faces and turbines from being in the line of sight from an exterior view. Radar absorbent materials are used extensively and details like hinges and pilot helmets are carefully considered to reduce radar returns. The F-22 minimizes infrared emissions by using thrust vectoring nozzles, a special top coat, and active cooling to manage the heat generated during supersonic flight. The F-22's avionic systems are highly integrated, leveraging sensor fusion to process data from all onboard and offboard sensors into a combined tactical picture. Key mission systems include the Sanders General Electric AN-ALR-94 Electronic Warfare System, Martin Marietta AN-AAR-15 
56 Infrared and Ultraviolet Missile Launch Detector, Westinghouse Texas Instruments, ANAPG-77 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, TRW Communication Slash Navigation Slash Identification Suite, and a long-range advanced ARST currently undergoing testing. The F-22 can also function as a mini AWACS platform with the ability to operate near the battlefield, designate targets for allied forces, and coordinate with other friendly aircraft. The F-22 features a glass cockpit with all digital flight instruments, including a monochrome head-up display and six-color liquid crystal panels. Its primary flight controls include a force-sensitive side stick controller and a pair of throttles. The canopy, measuring approximately 140 inches in length, 45 inches in width, and 27 inches in height, weighing 360 pounds, was redesigned after initial issues with durability. The ejection seat is a variation of the ACES-2 seat commonly used in USAF aircraft, featuring a center-mounted ejection control. The F-22 has a sophisticated life support system to ensure pilot safety. Similarly, the F-35 is another U.S. Air Force technologically advanced fighter aircraft used for modern air warfare. It is a single-engine, supersonic, stealth, multi-role fighter representing a new era in fifth-generation fighter aircraft. The F-35 emphasizes low observability, advanced avionics, and sensor fusion, contributing to exceptional situational awareness and long-range lethality. The F-35 has a wingtail configuration with two vertical stabilizers canted for stealth. The aircraft incorporates various flight control surfaces such as leading edge flaps, flaperons, rudders, and all moving horizontal tails. The aircraft's relatively short wingspan results from the need to fit inside USN amphibious assault ship parking areas and elevators, with the F-35C having larger wings for increased fuel efficiency. The fixed diverter's supersonic inlets feature a unique design to reduce radar signature and effectively manage airflow to the engine. The F-35 leverages composite materials, including bismolimide, composite epoxy, and carbon nanotube reinforced epoxy in later production lots. These composites comprise a significant portion of the airframe and contribute to its lightweight yet robust structure. The F-35 can compete effectively with fourth-generation fighters such as the F-16 and F-A-18. Its internal weapons bay eliminates external stores, reducing aerodynamic drag. The aircraft can reach a top speed of Mach 1.6 with excellent subsonic acceleration and supersonic capabilities. The design of large stabilizers, leading edge extensions, and canted rudders allows for high angles of attack and the F-35 boasts superior combat radius due to its larger internal fuel capacity. The F-35's avionics and sensor systems are complex and advanced. Sensor fusion is a key feature, enhancing the pilot's situational awareness and command and control capabilities while supporting network-centric warfare. The F-35 software is a substantial part of its avionics, with millions of lines of code responsible for various mission-critical functions. The software is developed in C and C++ and runs on integrated core processors using data networking standards like IEEE 1394B and Fiber Channel. Stealth is a central element of the F-35's design. The aircraft minimizes radar cross-section through carefully shaped airframes and radar-absorbent materials. The F-35's radar-absorbent fiber mat skin is durable and low-maintenance compared to older top coats, enhancing maintainability. In addition to reducing RCS, the aircraft has reduced infrared and visual signatures. The F-35's glass cockpit is designed to provide the pilot with excellent situational awareness. The cockpit incorporates a speech recognition system for improved human-machine interaction. Flight and combat information is displayed on the visor of the pilot's helmet in a helmet-mounted display system. The F-35 has two internal weapons bays, each featuring two weapon stations. The aircraft can use external weapon stations for missions that do not require stealth. The F-35 is continually being improved, and future upgrades may include the integration of hypersonic missiles and direct energy weapons like solid-state lasers. The Pratt & AMP Whitney Low Bypass Power the F-35 Augmented Turbofan Engine 
with a rated thrust of 28,000 lbf at military power and 43,000 lbf at afterburner. The F-35 family comprises three main models designed to meet specific operational requirements, F-35A, F-35B, and F-35C. These variants cater to different operational scenarios, ensuring that the F-35 can meet the diverse needs of various military services and allies worldwide. Next, the European Typhoon is a highly maneuverable aircraft that can operate at low and supersonic speeds thanks to its relaxed stability design. Its quadruplex digital fly-by-wire control system provides artificial stability, as manual operation alone could not compensate for the inherent instability. The fly-by-wire system is described as carefree and prevents the pilot from exceeding the permitted maneuver envelope. Roll control is primarily achieved using the ailerons, while pitch control is by operating the canards and ailerons. A chin double intake ramp below a splitter plate feeds the engines. The Typhoon is constructed with lightweight materials, consisting of 82% composites made up of 70% carbon fiber composite materials and 12% glass fiber reinforced composites. It is a durable and reliable aircraft with an estimated lifespan of 6,000 flying hours. Although the Typhoon was not designated as a stealth fighter, Measures were taken to reduce its radar cross-section, especially from the frontal aspect. The aircraft's S-duct-like air intake partially conceals engine fans. Many important potential radar targets, such as the wing, canard, and fin leading edges, are highly swept, reflecting radar energy well away from the front. Some external weapons are mounted semi-recessed into the aircraft, partially shielding these missiles from incoming radar waves. The Typhoon is also coated with radar-absorbent materials, which coat many of the most significant reflectors, such as the wing-leading edges, the intake edges and interior, the rudder surrounds, and strakes. The aircraft also features passive sensors, which minimize the radiation of treacherous electronic emissions. The Typhoon's glass cockpit features three full-color, multifunction head-down displays, which are manipulated using soft keys, XY cursor, and voice commands. It also includes a wide-angle head-up display with forward-looking infrared, a voice, and hands-on throttle and stick, a helmet-mounted symbology system, a MIDS, a manual data entry facility located on the left glare shield, and a fully integrated aircraft warning system with a dedicated warnings pane. The cockpit is designed with user needs in mind, and both layout and functionality were developed with feedback and assessments from military pilots and a specialist testing facility. The aircraft uses a center stick and left-hand throttles, designed on a hand-on throttle and stick principle to lower pilot workload. The Typhoon has provisions for six beyond visual range and two short range air-to-air -air missiles. Radar guided missiles are guided by the radar, capable of guiding six missiles simultaneously, all at different targets. The aircraft can use Raytheon AMRAM, Iris-T, ASRAM, AIM-9X Sidewinder, and AIM-9L Sidewinder short-range missiles, while the MBDA Meteor is intended to be its primary beyond-visual-range missile. The Typhoon is also equipped with the Praetorian Electronic Warfare System and a missile warning system, which provide situational awareness and are integrated with the aircraft's radar and sensors to track and respond to threats, jamming, and interference. The Typhoon's Defensive AIDS subsystem is an integrated and essential component of the aircraft's sensors and countermeasures system. The EW system provides situational awareness and is integrated with the aircraft's radar and sensors to track and respond to threats, jamming, and interference. The missile warning system provides warning cues to the pilot and cues for the countermeasures system. A laser warning receiver within the aircraft's fin is designed to provide warning cues of laser targeting or engagement by laser-guided munitions. The Eurofighter is equipped with the Miratec Electronic Warfare Ground Support System developed by BAE Systems, which allows ground crews to analyze and evaluate the mission data of the aircraft's EW and countermeasures systems. In the event of pilot disorientation, the Typhoon's flight control system allows for rapid and automatic recovery by simply pressing a button. The aircraft also has an automatic low-speed recovery system, which prevents it from departing from a controlled flight at very low speeds and a high angle of attack. 
the FCS system can detect a developing low-speed situation and raise an audible and visual low-speed cockpit warning. This gives the pilot sufficient time to react and recover the aircraft manually. However, if the pilot does not react or the warning is ignored, the ALSR takes control of the aircraft, selects maximum dry power for the engines, and returns the aircraft to a safe flight condition. Like the US and European fighter jets, the J-20 features a frameless canopy, a long, blended fuselage, and a chiseled nose section. The aircraft's low, observable diverter supersonic inlet intakes are located behind the cockpit, and the all-moving canard surfaces with pronounced dihedral are placed behind the intakes. The leading edge extensions merge into the delta wing with forward-swept trailing edges. The aft section has twin, outward-canted, all-moving fins, short but deep ventral strakes, and conventional or low-observable engine exhausts. The aircraft was designed with high instability, requiring sustained pitch authority at a high angle of attack. To avoid stalling, a rumor can deflect opposite the attack angle. The canard design provides excellent supersonic performance, supersonic and transonic turn performance, and improved short field landing performance. Leading edge extensions and body lift are incorporated to enhance performance in a canard layout. The J-20's avionics aim to obtain situational awareness through advanced sensor fusion, while denying situational awareness to the adversary through stealth and electronic warfare. The aircraft features an integrated avionic suite consisting of multi-spectral sensors capable of providing omnidirectional coverage. The J-20 is equipped with electro-optic sensors called the Distributed Aperture System, which can provide omnidirectional coverage for the pilot with a sensor fusion system, combining the radar signal with the IR image to provide better situational awareness. The cockpit is fully digital, with one primary large color liquid crystal display touchscreen, three smaller auxiliary displays, and a wide-angle holographic heads-up display. The J-20 is a multi-role air superiority fighter, with the interceptor role being just one of the options. The main weapon bay can house long-range air-to-air missiles and precision-guided munitions, while the smaller lateral weapon bays behind the air inlets are intended for short-range AAMs. The fighter can carry four medium to long-range AAMs in the main bay and one short-range missile in each lateral weapon bay. The J-20's airframe employs a holistic approach to reduce its radar cross-section, uniquely combining canard wings with leading-edge root extensions. The chined forebody, modified radar radome, and electroconductive canopy use stealth shaping, yielding signature performance in a mature design similar to the F-22. The diverter's supersonic inlets leading into serpentine inlets can obscure the reflective surface of the engine from radar detection. Despite debates about the J-20's stealth capability, most military analysts agree that its stealth design is superior to that of the Russian Su-57, and it has the potential for further enhancements as the program matures. As the global aviation industry becomes increasingly competitive, Russia is sparing no resources to maintain its position against competing countries. The United States, for instance, is developing advanced aircraft like the Next Generation Air Dominance and Dark Star, which are designed to provide the U.S. military with a significant advantage in air warfare. European countries are also investing heavily in their aviation sectors, with the development of the Tempest fighter aircraft being a notable example. Russia invests heavily in developing advanced fighter aircraft like the Su-75 to keep up with its competitors. The Su-75 Checkmate is a revolutionary fighter jet designed for reduced radar visibility, featuring advanced characteristics such as a V-tail, diverter supersonic inlet, and internal weapons bays. Its substantial wing area suggests the ability to operate at high altitudes, around 40,000 feet or more. The ventral inlet design resembles the Boeing X-32, and the V-tail takes inspiration from the Northrop YF-23, Unique to the Su-75 is the use of rudder vaders for pitch and yaw control, requiring advanced flight control systems. With a range of up to 3,000 kilometers, a payload capacity of 7,400 kilogram, and speeds ranging from Mach 1.8 to 2.0, the Su-75 is a versatile fighter. It houses an internal weapons bay capable of accommodating five missiles and an autocannon. 
Recent patents suggest further modifications to enhance its radar signature reduction, focusing on the fuselage, strakes, and air intakes. Powering the Su-75 is the Saturn Isdalie 30 engine, which is also intended for the Su-57M variant. This advanced engine is expected to be lighter, more efficient, and longer-lasting than its predecessor, delivering 107.9 kN of thrust in dry mode and 171.7 kN in afterburner mode. The Su-75's cockpit design is based on the Su-57, featuring a glass cockpit with two main multifunctional LCDs, each measuring 38 centimeters, and a wide-angle head-up display. The aircraft's electronic infrastructure utilizes an open architecture system, incorporating Matrioska diagnostic systems and an active phased array radar. It shares components and avionics with the Su-57, serving as a cost-effective measure. The Su-75 fighter can carry more than seven tons of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface armaments, enabling it to engage multiple targets simultaneously. The Su-75 is expected to be available in three variations, a single-seater, a two-seater, and an unmanned version. Rostec has ambitious export plans for the Checkmate, intending to sell it to Argentina, India, Vietnam, Iran, and various African nations. The goal is to export 300 Su-75 Checkmate aircraft to African countries over the next 15 years. Nigeria has already expressed interest and the aircraft has been pitched to Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. The Su-75 Checkmate boasts a single-seated configuration and is powered by the NPO Saturn AL-51F1 afterburning turbofan engine. It achieves a maximum speed of Mach 1.8, has a ferry range of 3,000 kilometers, and can endure G-forces up to plus 8.0. Its avionics include the Sha-121 multifunctional integrated radio electronic system and an active electronically scanned array radar. Additionally, it features the 101 KSV Erst system. In addition to the Su-75, the McCoyan Pack DP, also known as the MiG-41, is developing to replace the MiG-31 in the mid-2030s. The MiG-41 is expected to have laser weaponry, active stealth capabilities, and adaptive camouflage technology. It is envisioned to fly at speeds exceeding Mach 4, making it faster than the legendary SR-71 Blackbird. The PAC-DP will serve as an interceptor for hypersonic missiles, equipped with a versatile long-range interceptor missile system. These cutting-edge aircraft equipped with advanced technology like laser weaponry and adaptive camouflage would strengthen Russia's aerial capabilities and expand its arsenal, ensuring a continued presence on the international stage. Thank you for watching. While you are still here, click the link on your screen to check out more of our videos. See you there.